Hi everyone, today is Wednesday, November 23rd. Just wanted to document this. It seems this is more popular than the sugar solution. And this is water. And it's funny because I've got this container that's supposed to be for uh, water, for the bees. Yet uh, they find this upside down bucket lip here more useful that catches water that's uh, upside down so there's a little notch a couple of notches there they're all sectioned off and they they fill up with water whether rain water or I don't know if uh, they collect dew at night but that's where they're all hanging out water. Now, I was wondering, uh, I read that bees need like salt to help them cure honey. So I was wondering if I should put a salt lick on top of the inside cover. But yeah, they're all hanging out here getting water. The sugar solution's making a mess. It jar heats up, forces out the solution. And it's got like it's crystallizing or it's freezing a little bit. No, it's, it's sort of like evaporating and crystallizing on top there. Hmm. They're all hanging out here. Okay, let's go take a look at the fondant. Remember, there was only two on it a couple hours later. I think it's a little bit more popular now. They're finding this a really nice place to hang out. I can feel the warmth, I think. A nice place to put uh, one of those remote humidity and temperature sensors. Yeah. I don't know if it's the fondant or they just like to hang out here. But it's packed. I wonder if this remote sensor here can get the signal to the base station through this metal cover. There. Let's see if I can pick up the signal by bringing this to the behind. Okay, so it's four o'clock, sun's going down. I've had these sensors out a couple of hours so they could resync and reset. And you can see here, let's see, the bottom one here is a built-in sensor to the base station, which reads the indoor temperature. So number three is this sensor right here, which I usually have in the lean-to. And no, this, uh, this is the one I usually have in the cellar. So they're not too far off. They're both about 40 degrees. That seems to be the cutoff point there when the bees are uh, less active. And you can see here, it's 73 degrees and 64% humidity. This is in the lean-to, so it's actually warmer in the hive than in the lean-to, which is now 55 degrees. So 73 degrees and 64% humidity on top of the hive there where all the bees had congregated around the fondant. Now this might be a little conspiracy, but um, I don't know, with all the, the questions about what's causing bee die-off, I'm not certain I feel comfortable leaving this transmitter on top of the hive there. You never know. Um, I don't know what the frequency is, but I don't know if I should leave that on there or not.
just to get a sense of how warm the inside of the hive is. Got a fatality there. I did notice there was this paper, so they're definitely eating that pro winter patty that I left in there. This piece of paper. Is that a oh yeah, okay. That was a bumblebee for a second. So this is New England gardening. Some interesting numbers here for the for the hive. Thanks for watching.